So, this was your club? Uh, mine and Marco's. How did you know we were down here? Oh, I live across the street. I guess I couldn't bear to leave it. I saw all the activity and I had to come over. Maybe I shouldn't have. Standing here is a mixed blessing. Everything is so crystal clear. The joy, the exhilaration, the love, the very fun of it. But there's a flip side. The pain is still here. What exactly happened that night? The very thing none of us anticipated. There was such excitement in the air. I remember thinking it probably felt like, like the theater on opening night. Look at this place, can you believe it? It's a long way from where we started. Who ever thought I'd own a classy joint like this one day? You married a classy lady? That I did. You've been some class act yourself there, Joe. You stuck by me to tell him back. No, Marco, if it wasn't for you, I never would have gotten out of that orphanage. I owe you. you. Give me a job, a life. My loyalty is a fact. Hand me your gun. Why? You don't need to work to know we got other people on duty. Enjoy yourself. No, I, I don't like being unarmed. I don't think you understand. This is an order. <laughs> It'll be fine. Hand over the gun. Paul. <clears throat> yes, you need something lost here. Yeah, gotta put this in the safe. Joe's not working tonight. He's not gonna need it. Right, we're off to an excellent start. College boy. Things will go legit one day. That's what too much schooling will get you. Stupid. <laughs> You're pulling my leg. I'm dead serious. You and Joe are going to redo it. You're going to tie the knot tonight. <laughs> We're taking off tonight. The second after the clock breaks midnight. Oh, this is fabulous news. This night just keeps getting better and better. Now, I told Rummy Joe he was a goner the minute he laid eyes on you. Oh, Violet. I am so happy for you both. I know. I only hope Marco feels the same way. You kids go get hit. Leave your brother to me. Uh-oh. Hey, Mr. Murphy. You look swell. Hey, you look pretty good yourself, kid. Leave him alone. Kid just wanted to say hello. Then you walk away. I don't want you speaking with my son. Hello? Talk to the kid. He approached me. Well, that's what I intend to do. How many times have I told you not to talk to that horrible man? Nice place. I think I'll stay a while taking the ambiance. See if I feel at home. Think again, this party's invitation only. Not the way I heard it. That's the way it is. Take your muscle and get out. Fine. Don't want to be sociable. Riding high, aren't you, Marco? Mm, new place. Lots of vigorous building up. Let's not forget the waterfront you stole from me. What's your I point? Do. It's a hard fall down, that's all I'm saying. Hey, gorgeous. Take your hand off me. Sorry. Wasn't handling the merchandise. I just wanted to get your attention to say. You ever get bored with your brother's bodyguard and decide you want a real man? Good evening, fellas. Boys. For the first time that night, I had a bad feeling. But it was fleeting. After all, Murphy was gone without a single glass being broken. And the party was in full swing. We were young, immortal. What could possibly go wrong? We were just about to find out. <laughs> 